Greetings, fellow traveling. I want to remind you once again that God leaves signs and clues for us everywhere since we were children. And it will always be that way. There's, there's times where we hit a moment of revelation. It happens multiple ways, multiple people, different ways. And we confront our ego. Or I like to look at ego as edging God out. We confront that ego and we either hold on to it near and dear or it gets destroyed. Now, when I began thinking about that, I was like, all right, ego, death, got it, got it, got it. When I think back to my childhood, and Humpty Dumpty told us the same thing. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, right? He sat on the object or he sat on something that made him feel tall up, to rise up. That wall was nothing but the ego. It was all the beliefs that built up the idea of the ego. The ideas of self, the grandiose idea of self. I don't know, maybe too abstract. This something I thought about, let me know if it resonates with it. Humpty Dumpty had a fall, shattered his shell. That's the death of the ego. All the king's horses, all the king's men couldn't put him back together again. Once you release that ego, once it has been shattered by the realization that you are God, that you are of a beautiful light source and there's nothing else, you're unable to put yourself back together as you formerly knew yourself. You're unable to put those ideas and orchestrate that identity that you once held so near and dear is all untruthful. You're no, you're no longer able to hold on to that. You cannot put the pieces back together again. Because you realize that you are of God. And when you realize that you are of God, then you operate in your world from that understanding. And then you're learning to live all over again. Not building up a new ego, but connecting with your truest self. This is a reminder that even if you're not at that moment, you don't have to wait for it to naturally happen. Assess yourself. Think about the life that you want for yourself. Connect that with your with your God, with your universe, with whatever you believe in, and move towards that light. You will experience shame and guilt at times. It's okay. Because whatever, whoever you believe in got you. Trust in that light. Move with the power of that. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.